Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in the line to get coffee at Dunkin' this morning. Ooh, um, sticking to the plan. I brought my Premier Protein drink. And um, if you guys have been around for a while, which I have talked about this on Instagram, probably a little bit on my channel. If you've been around for a while, I used to drink this all the time. The Premier Protein and coffee. I used to drink it all the time, every day, for a long time. And yes, ma'am. And let me order my coffee. I may help you. Hey, can I get a um, can I get two shots of espresso over ice in a large cup? What else? That'll be it. All right, babe. Pull around. Thanks. You're welcome. So I used to drink this all the time, and then when I got pregnant, I just could not drink it anymore. And so I keep trying it every so often, thinking maybe my taste buds, maybe I like it because I really just want to like it. It's just such a low point coffee. And so I got some of my grocery order the other day. Oh yeah, you brought, I guess you guys probably did see that. And it, it was good, I liked it. I made it at home in my Ninja Coffee Bar. It was not good. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that at home, but Rian wants to tell you guys hello. We have a new place. Oh so yeah, we'll have to show them that. Say good morning. So I just ordered my coffee. I'm gonna premiere, premiere, pour my premiere protein in there, and that's gonna be um, my breakfast or part of my breakfast one. All right, so I I'm stopped real quick. I'm gonna pour this in my cup. I got two shots of espresso over ice in a large cup. Same thing at Starbucks. Two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup. I'm just gonna pour it all in there and this is two points I get 23 points a day I follow the blue plan on Weight Watchers I'm pretty sure they must have gave me three shots yesterday because it seemed like more um, which two is really plenty so this is gonna be my two-point breakfast I might have a little something later just depending on how I feel or I might try to just wait till lunch because Usually, these have 30 grams. These protein shakes have 30 grams of protein in them, which protein is supposed to keep you full. So, this is going to be my breakfast. All right, so, funny story. I had to actually go back to Dunkin' because I promised the girls donuts, and I was not even thinking. So, we were always home, and I was like, oh, I did not even get the girls donuts. I feel like that happens so often. So, the girls are eating their donuts this morning, Millie. It's tearing that thing up. She loves it. Okay, so I'm drinking my Premier Protein, and um, I wanted to tell y'all that I did... So I have the Ninja Coffee Bar, like the older model, and I did... Um, and I'm saying this again for those of you guys who might not have seen my last video. I did try to make the specialty brew. Let me show y'all. Alright, so this is the older model, like I said. I'll leave the newer model below because I truly love this coffee maker. It is such a good one for iced coffee, regular coffee. It's got different size coffees you can make. It's got specialty brew. And so yesterday, I went ahead and made specialty brew because I figured, okay, it's probably like an espresso and I don't think I've ever made the specialty. But it didn't taste right. And I believe my problem was the coffee I'm using. I'm not using an espresso coffee. I'm using like a medium roast Dunkin' coffee that I normally drink with my regular iced coffees. And so I actually went on Instagram and asked you guys about um, an espresso because I was, I thought about ordering an, a Nespresso because I've heard they're really good for espressos and I heard that they are truly like the best coffee maker. And so I actually went on Target and ordered one yesterday. And was going to pick it up today at Target Drive Up. And I went online and canceled it this morning. Because I was like, I truly just love my Ninja Coffee Bar. And so I thought, before I do that, before I spend money on a new coffee maker, let me try a different kind of coffee in my Ninja Coffee Bar first. And so that's what I'm going to do. I haven't picked it up yet. But sometime today I'm going to get like a special, like a espresso. Probably like the Starbucks espresso because I do like their espresso shots. So before I do the Nespresso, before I go spend money on that, I'm going to try a different coffee. But yes, I think that's the biggest thing for me with the Premier Protein is I have to have like the actual espresso shots. Not just regular like cold brew coffee or something like that. So Yes. Anyway, so I just, I did want to go ahead and mention that, that I have not liked the Premier Protein in a long time, but I do think what makes it better for me is definitely doing those espresso shots to make um, the coffee stronger. It is lunchtime. I've got some chicken cooking. I'm going to try this 
Tyson Grilled and Ready Oven Roasted Diced Chicken Breast. These are zero points for as many as you want. So I've got some just in my pan. I'm cooking up. My kitchen's a mess right now. I just got done cooking the girls some quesadillas. So I'm going to make some kind of wrap. I can't decide what, I, what all I'm going to put in it. Um, definitely chicken. These are the Mission Car Balance Tortillas. I think we're going to make two of these because I um am hungry i didn't eat other thing other than my coffee with the premier protein and i only drunk about half of that so i'm only gonna i only drunk i only ate like a one point breakfast so i'm gonna eat two of these because i'm pretty hungry and i just want to be snacking on the girls food so i can't be doing that all right so this is a real life video vlog what i eat in a day with my kids in the background, so you'll have to excuse the background noise. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cook my chicken up like extra done. Just because I'm weird with chicken like this. So I'm gonna let it keep cooking for another minute or two. I'm gonna start on my wrap. I'm gonna make like a chicken cheese ranch wrap. So I've got this Bolt House Farms. You can have up to three tablespoons for two points. So I'm not gonna measure it because I'm not gonna use that much. Actually, I think I'm gonna put my chicken on first. I'm not gonna use that much work. So my chicken's pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. And then I'm gonna take some fat-free mozzarella. You can have a half a cup of this for a point or a fourth a cup for zero point. So I'm gonna go ahead and count it as a point. And go ahead and put that on there. And then I'm gonna drizzle some of this ranch. Okay, and then this is going to be thick. I'm going to fold it up. Okay, I'm not very good at this. All right, and then I'm just going to cut it in half, and I'm going to pink because I just got done cutting strawberries with that, and then I'm going to do the same thing for one more. You must have. No, I didn't. You did it. These are thick. I didn't do that. All right, so I've got um, two of the wraps is four points, and then one for the cheese, two for the ranch, so that is seven points. So a 10 point lunch, which is bigger than normal, but I did not eat much of a breakfast, so. It's okay. So I've got um, this skinny pop is three points. It's the 100 calorie bags. I know they make different size bags, I think. But it looks good. Let's try it. All right. Let me pick up one of my thick wraps. See how this chicken is. I, I, pretty, I think I've tried this chicken before. In fact, I think this kind of chicken was in a Home Chef box one time. Good. Let me finish eating. I'll report back. I am not really hungry for an afternoon snack, and so I thought instead of actually eating a snack i've got i'm gonna have a lot of points for supper but um i'm gonna drink probably not much of this because caffeine affects me when i drink it like later in the day so i thought i'd get a little something and drink this is um coke zero cherry it's really good i like it i don't drink i drink one of these like once a day probably just I'm trying to get my straw in here i drink like once a day but i really wish i could eat what Lainey's eating is that good stuff? Mm -hmm. I got some of this cookies and cream ice cream at the grocery store. And this is the first time she's trying it. All right, so it is dinner time. I threw my hair up. We've been outside for a little bit earlier, so I just threw my hair up to get it out of my face. But tonight for supper, we are going to have buffalo chicken pasta, which I probably have made this in a what I eat in a day video before. I've made so many that I honestly don't know what all I've shared. And so... This is one of my favorite recipes. It's so good. It's lo pretty low in points depending on what um, program you're on for. Um, I'm on blue, so it is six points. 
four for purple, which is awesome, and eight for green. So, um, it's pretty good in points, but all you're going to need is some chicken. I've just got a rotisserie chicken because I didn't have time to, or I didn't cook chicken today. It's not that I didn't have time, I just didn't do it. So, I picked up a rotisserie chicken at the grocery store. We're also going to need some whole wheat penne pasta. We're going to need two cups of this. We're also going to need some light ranch, which this is the Aldi brand. And then some Frank's hot sauce. I think this is the wing sauce. I think you could use either one. I really don't even know the difference. Let's see. Yeah, it just says Frank's hot sauce. I'm just going to use the wing sauce because I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same. So, I've got my water boiling for the pasta. I'm going to measure out two cups of pasta. Um, that way you get a pretty precise measurement. Put in my measuring cup. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so I got all my chicken pulled off. And this is an expensive way to do the chicken. Put some frozen or fresh chicken in a crock pot. Cook it on low for four to six hours. Put some chicken broth in it. And then shred it that way. That's much cheaper. However, I didn't do that. And I really wanted to cook this tonight. So I just grabbed this while I was at the store. I had to run and grab a couple things at the store. So I just grabbed this. And my favorite way to shred chicken is... Let me put this in. See how long it took up. Uh, 10 to 12 minutes. My favorite way to shred chicken is the hand mixer that shreds it the best. But when I don't want to get the hand mixer out, I use the part of the mixer and I just like shred it that way. And it does so good. So, okay, my chicken is shredded. So, in a small bowl, I'm going to put my cream cheese. This is six ounces of cream cheese and about two cups of chicken. I don't measure it because chicken for me is zero points, so I just put however much I want in there. Um, but definitely measure it if you're on a different plan. Um, I think, how much ranch? A fourth a cup of light ranch. And then we're going to do half a cup of the Frank's hot sauce. So I'm going to do, this is a fourth of a cup. I'm going to do two of these. And this is spicy, so um, I guess you can adjust it to your needs, like the ratio of ranch to hot sauce. By the way, my countertops are messy, so just ignore that. All right, I've got everything um, creamed together pretty decently. So I should have done this in a bigger bowl because I'm not going to have enough room. So I'm going to put everything together. My pasta about has about five more minutes. Some of these are not shredded like I want them. I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to add a third a cup of light cheese, like 2% um, milk cheese. This is just Mexican blend cheese. And I will leave the recipe for this below, like the exact recipe. I'm going to mix this together and then I'll add my pasta and put it in a big dish and put a little bit more cheese on it and bake it. All right, I'm gonna mix all this together really well. I'm gonna pour it all into my greased nine by 13 dish. And then just pat it down. All right, now I'm gonna bake it for about 20 minutes. And then I'll add a little bit more cheese and bake it for about five more minutes and then it'll be done. You could definitely um, put this in your app on your recipe builder on Weight Watchers if you follow Weight Watchers. Um, definitely you could put it in your app because if you use a different brand, everything could obviously be different amount of points, but um, it is such a good recipe for the amount of points. So I think we're going to, I usually serve it with a salad, so I think that's what we're going to do tonight. All right, y'all, the chicken spicy. So this is what my kiddos are eating tonight. So real life kid meals. But this, and that one's Ethan's. This is my dinner for tonight. It is, so that's what the buffalo chicken, it actually comes in six servings, which is a good bit. And like I said, it's six points for the blue plan. I have a salad with it, and I am using the Bolt House Bar. <laughs> She's laughing at Daddy. Daddy's at the window. <laughs> Bolt, House, Bolt House Farms Honey Mustard, two points worth of this. Uh, two tablespoons for two points. So this is an eight-point dinner. So this is my dinner for tonight. 
All right, for dessert, normally I'll eat a built bar for de built bar for dessert, but um, I oldie but a goodie bringing it for dessert tonight. Um, I so many of you guys have told me how much you like this. It's just so simple, but it's so good. And tag me on Instagram. Um, so we're gonna make bananas, peanut butter, and chocolate chips. I think I'm gonna do it a little bit differently today, though. Let's do it a little bit different. All right, I got my food scale. Got my bowl. I'm gonna do 16 grams. This is just Peter Pan creamy peanut butter. I'm gonna do 16 grams of this. And then I am also, I've got my mini chocolate chips. We're gonna make just like a peanut butter chocolate chip drizzle, like melt it all together. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of these. Oh, it's like uh, probably more than two, but we're gonna roll with it. And I am gonna melt all this together. And while that is melting, I'm gonna chop up my banana. All right, so it's just a chocolate peanut butter, basically. And I'm just gonna drizzle all of this over it. So it kind of be like a, I don't know, Maybe like a Reese's banana. Like basically what I've ate before, just all melted together. All right, friends, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. End of my night with, um, this was five points. I used five points worth of toppings for it, which that's what I had left over because um, my lunch, I ended up giving a lot of that popcorn to Delaney. So. So I didn't even eat all my lunch. But this is the rest of my points. I am at 23 out of 23 a day, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it. If you are new here, I hope you will consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.